Hi everyone, it's me, Mrs. Lachman at Boston School Forest. And the ocean is such a cool place, but Wisconsin is so far away from the ocean. So I asked the question, I wonder what's at the bottom of Ellingbow Pond. And I have a pond expert joining me. His name is Mr. Skowinski, and he's gonna tell us about the different zones of the pond. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Skowinski from the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. I work in the Extension Lakes office. We have a pond behind me with several different zones of the pond. The left side here is very shallow, has a lot of light. It's called the littoral zone. That's where a lot of the life of the lake lives. Behind me to the right is the limnetic zone, which is the open water zone where there's a lot of plankton and tiny plants and animals floating around in the water. And then down at the bottom is called the benthic zone. It's the bottom of the lake where the bottom dwelling creatures like dragonfly larvae and things like that are crawling around looking for food down there. in the littoral zone of the lake now which is the very shallow water area here where there's lots of light and there's plants and algae and a lot of tiny critters like to make their home there so my daughter helped me catch a couple of things out here and the first thing we caught was a whole bunch of snails different kinds of snails they have different shapes they live in different places this is a ram's horn snail here or an orb snail and then we have some pond snails in here also This one, number two, is a baby dragonfly. It's called a nymph. It has a big, wide head with big eyes on the end, six legs like all insects have, and they crawl around on the bottom, which is called the benthic zone. This one is another dragonfly of just a different species, a little bit different shape and color to him. Number four, is a really tiny bluegill. They definitely get much bigger than this. This is a really small one, what a, a fish scientist would call a young of the year bluegill because he was born this year. And he likes to eat tiny bugs off the plants in the littoral zone. Number five is a giant diving water beetle. He has huge wide flippers on the back, his back legs, they have large hairs on there to allow him to push more water like a canoe paddle so he can swim really fast. This big fish here, number six, is a green sunfish. He's got a big mouth, much bigger than a bluegill, and these nice dark bands that go vertically on his body. Number seven is a young of the year largemouth bass are very long and they have this dark stripe down the middle and these little tiny ones are damselfly larvae or damselfly nymphs they're a very long bodied insect and they have two or three tails at the back much skinnier than a dragonfly nymph would be this pair of mallard ducks loves the littoral zone of our pond they find lots of yummy plants to eat, like algae and Illinois pondweed and smartweed and some grass. The muskrat makes its home anywhere in the pond, but it finds the plants closest to the shore, the littoral area of the pond. All right, so this is a plankton net it's a really fine material that even really tiny creatures cannot pass through. So they'll get caught in here and then they drain down into this cup and we can let the water and the tiny critters come out this tube into our, our little tray to look at them under the microscope. 
So I'm going to throw this out in the pond and see what we get. And then here we have some plankton that we caught in the limnetic zone with a really fine net. Since these plants and animals that we caught in the plankton net are so small, we brought them into a microscope here so you can see them a little bit better. All the really bright green stuff is the algae and tiny plants in the water that were floating around. And the darker green stuff is little animals. So you can see all those little dark green spots swimming around at different speeds. There's some tiny ones and there's some slightly larger ones swimming around. And these are all the little critters that tiny fish eat as soon as they hatch from their eggs or other larger insects would eat as well. So this is a cage that's going to show us a little bit of what's under the water. I've got a floodlight here that's gonna light everything up and then the camera is gonna show us what's down there. 